I am long overdue for another best gaming headset roundup video and that's exactly what this video is going to be about. Pricing and availabilities will be linked down below alongside with some timestamps because this is going to be a long video but the Astro A10s absolutely love it. You cannot go wrong with these at all comfort wise. You can adjust it accordingly precisely adjust it exactly the way how you want it. I like the Wolf Nylon air cushions on the headsets opposed to just the leather because the leather is going to chip out. You're going to have sweat around the ears. This is designed for long session gameplays. Now, you might feel a little pressure on the top here on the side, but nonetheless, I would say this is for people who have smaller heads because the air cushions are a little small. Some people's ears are bigger than that, so it's going to be on air for some people. But for me, I have very tiny ears, so it's going to be over ear. In terms of your mute, you can pull it up to mute it, pull it down to unmute it, so you have very quick access. Although this is wired, the wire is extremely lengthy, and if this cable goes bad, no problem at all. You can always detach it, just like that, and buy a new wire. So the Astro a 10s a very solid option, especially at this price point. You can't go wrong with the A10s at all. And also, I'm gonna be testing these out with glasses to see how they feel. You don't feel as much tension because sometimes wearing the glasses, it could get a little like crowded because you have the glasses and then your ears. Sometimes it can squinch your head up a little bit, but I would say for the Astro A10s, no problem wearing glasses at all. Now the volume slider is on the actual cable, so it's not on the headset at all. There's no buttons or anything like that on the actual headset itself. Here's a poem about toucans. Tell me who can catch a toucan, lucan, just how a few can ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can stick it to the toucan, glue can. All right, next up, we have the HyperX Stinger Cloud 2. It's a little bit bigger compared to the A10, so this is gonna probably be more ideal for people with bigger ears. Um, the cool thing about this though, I would say, is you still have your flip up to mute, but one thing I dislike right away is taking it out the box. The cable is integrated within the headset itself. So if this wire goes bad, it is game over for these headsets. You do have leather. I much prefer nylon or velvet because with the leather, it tends to create sweat around the ear. Then maybe the leather is going to chip out depending on how much of a hardcore gamer you are. So you adjust it. You have the step system which is traditional. You have a built-in pop filters and with glasses, no problems at all. Very similar to the A10s actually. You have this red knob, this is the volume control. You can actually rest it around your neck. So whenever you're taking a break or whatever, I like the fact how you could just rest this like so. That is something that you're not gonna find on the A10s, the previous headset. So you cannot swivel these around. Tell me who can catch a toucan, lucan, just how a few can ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can stick it to the toucan, glue can. Next up, we have the Astro A20s, and this is a major step up compared to the A10s. First and foremost, you have wireless support, so no wires here whatsoever, and I appreciate the air cushions. Look at this. Look at that velvet. Oof, that velvet. This is gonna help for long gaming sessions and you can adjust them by sliding them up or down. You have your flip up to mute, pull it down to unmute it. You actually have a slider to prioritize more voice chat or the game volume. I wanna see how this fits. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, this feels way more comfortable than the A10s actually. Um, but the A10s were good. But these feel that much better. And the fact that you have wireless, I don't know about you guys, I just love wireless gaming headsets. Just the fact that you can move around, 
versus being tethered to a controller or your console. You just have the freedom, and I appreciate that. USB Type C for charging these up, big thumbs up in my book. Astro 820s, definitely a super version compared to the 810s. And let's test out the glasses. Now, by the way, I don't wear glasses. This is just to help you guys out. Yeah, you're not gonna have a problem with wearing glasses on this. There's no tension between the glasses and the cushion. And overall, this is good. And you will need to plug in the included dongle in the box. And if you wanna get the Xbox One, they also sell that one too as well. Okay, here's the Astro 820s. Tell me who can catch a toucan, blue can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. I know this poem might be cheesy, but it's the only thing I can think of right now. Next up on the list, we have the Turtle Beach Stealth 600s. Now, I'm not the biggest Turtle Beach fan, but I want to test out the latest and greatest from Turtle Beach. And I got to say, these are not too shabby. First and foremost, the air cushions. You have this nice, uh, I don't even know what you call this material. It's not leather. Anything but leather, I'm going to appreciate because that leather is just a nightmare, man. But the headband, the headband is actually leather, which I don't know why they decided to put leather. And the microphone, it is tucked in conveniently on the side. And these are wireless headphones. I appreciate on how these swivel so you can rest them around your neck. The A20s, you couldn't do that. The ear shape is a little different, so it's oddly shaped. This could potentially fit somebody's ear perfectly. I'm not sure about mine. They feel a little tighter compared to the A20s, by the way. Let me test these out with glasses. So they are a little bit on the tight side, but not bad. Like, I could rock out with this, but... Not my favorite headset on the list so far. And even with the microphone, I like how they flush in with the actual body of the headset, but it's so far apart, I'm very concerned on how the microphone is gonna be. Cause if the microphone is all the way over here and you talking, it may not have the best uh, microphone quality. That's something that I'm gonna have to test out, which I think that leads me to test it out right now. Alongside with the audio quality, Tell me who can catch a toucan, loot can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. The Turtle Beach Stealth. Next up on the list, we have the Epos GTW 270 Hybrid. So these are gaming earbuds. I never had gaming earbuds before. And the beauty thing about this, maybe you just chatting with your friends. So you have your earbuds right front and center. So here it's saying no parent, no hassle, just plug the dongle and automatically connects to the bud. So very similar to the previous headsets. So it's a dongle that you gotta connect onto the console and it's automatically gonna connect them. But first things first, I wanna see how they fit. Case is very premium, like this metallic look. Type C on the back. Appreciate the type C-ness. And like I said, they just like AirPods. Now try not to lose these buds because these buds are very tiny. Um, so as soon as you're done with them, put them in the case. And essentially, if you're a fan of AirPods, you're gonna probably love these maybe. So let's put these AirBuds in my ear. Oh yeah, they fit. They go right in there. So it's not, so you actually have a lot of support. And yeah, these fit like a glove. So. Here's how the AirPods look. And I'm very surprised to see how well they fit. Sometimes we fall asleep in the chat all night and then you wake up, you leave the chat. I have one of those nights. Tell me who can catch a toucan, loo can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Next up on the list, we have the Sony InZone H7. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, 
I've been the most excited for these. I'm a fan of the um, XM5s. Love those headphones. So now having Sony making, you know, some gaming headsets, like I'm like, whoa. First and foremost, this is going to match perfectly with the PS5. And I'm sure this is going to be way better than the Post 3D headset. It's going to literally dust it out the out the water. You can see you have your adjustment there. I like the Post 3D headset. You don't have no adjustment to the headband. You have your flip up to mute. So if you want to mute the mic, you could do so. This is wireless. So you have USB-C for charging. You have your buttons and controls on the right um, ear cuffs. You have the game volume and the chat volume. You have your Bluetooth pairing, your on off button, and the air cushions are different. They memory foam, but the actual material is not like that soft material. So this is actually something different. I've never seen this before. Aesthetically, I would say this is like the Post 3D headset on steroids. So let's put them on for the very first time. And yes, oh yeah. <laughs> so not only they light on the headband, it feels like clouds around your ear. Like the air cushion is definitely one of a kind. It's something that I never felt. I never felt this before. And as soon as you put them on, it isolates the noise too. I love the way how these feel. So far, out of all the headsets, I'm putting these number one and the Astro 820s. These are really comfortable, guys. Really. They don't look too big on the ears. Uh, and let's put on the glasses. Trying to breeze through this video because after this, I got to test out all of these headsets um, right away. No problems with wearing glasses at all. So idle play, you can just rest around your neck. This is a microphone test of the H7. Tell me who can catch a toucan, loot can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. And okay, what about the Endzone H9? Sony's top of the line gaming headset. Right away, the difference I notice, you have leather. And you guys know, I'm not a fan of leather, but this feels different. It's a different kind of leather, but Still not a fan of leather headsets. I much rather the H7 in terms of the air cushions. The start of the show of the H9, you have noise canceling on the gaming headset, which I don't know if it's necessary, but you have them here. And judging off of the Sony XM5s, those are God tier noise canceling headphones. So um, pretty much the same as that controls here. So you have your Bluetooth, your game volume, your chat volume, but you have a new button called ambient mode and noise canceling mode. Uh, so you could have uh, transparency so you can hear your environment or you could turn on noise canceling to totally close out or dry out the environment. The battery life is a little worse on these if you're using noise canceling, goes without saying. But I'm not sure how I feel about these leather. I think it's just due to the fact of the noise canceling. I'm going to sneak a little bit, turn these on for a second. Oh, okay. So transparency mode. It doesn't make a huge difference, but let me turn on noise canceling. Oh, okay. So it drowns it out a little bit, but to me, this is this is unnecessary. And the comfort, I'd much rather the XM7s. I said XM7, the H7s. But nonetheless, it's exactly the same. Same volume knob, same flip up to mute. Now it goes without saying, both the H7 and the H9, it is gonna require a dongle to plug into your PlayStation 5 or PC. Unfortunately, this isn't compatible on the Xbox. Okay, time for the H9. Tell me who can catch a toucan, loot can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. These are the Logitech G735 gaming headsets. And I must say, first glimpse, I love how they swivel, 
right? I think I realized on how important having swivel air cushions or air cuffs are. So when you're idle, you're just relaxing, you can rest it around your neck. And not only that, you can adjust it exactly the way how you want it with these telescoping um, <laughs> uh, arms. These are Bluetooth and wireless. If you're using Bluetooth, you will have to use the included dongle or you can plug in the 3.5 uh, jack. And not only that, the boom mic is detachable. So if you just wanna to listen to your game or listen to music, you can do so. But when you're ready to chat, you could be able to plug in the boom mic. You do have RGB lighting around the air cushions. So if I turn these on, you can see the RGB sitting in effect. So love the way how they just subtly bleed around the air cushions. It tries best to isolate the background noise um, without any kind of sacrifice to the battery life. I wouldn't say it's the most comfortable on this list, but it's definitely up there. Try not to lose this though. If you have any kids, you do have your mixer so you can balance the game audio and the voice audio. You have your Bluetooth switch. Now when it's mute, it's gonna quickly flash red. And of course you have type C for charging. Is the glasses test even that important to you? I think it is, okay. So right away, oh, with the mic, you can actually hear yourself through the, um, through the headset. So it actually uses transparency. Alright, this is the Logitech G735. Tell me who can catch a toucan, loo can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. Okay, time for the Astro A30s. I must say, I love the presentation on this. It includes a case, so whenever you're done gaming, you can pack it up conveniently in its nice storage case. But the Astro A30s, um, you can detach the mic you still have the freedom to adjust your headset accordingly. You actually have a mute switch, so no button here, it's just an up and down switch. I would have loved to see the flip up to mute. I think that's the best way to mute your microphone, in my opinion. Um, of course, you have Type-C for charging. Okay, so the way how these fit, the mic is very close to. So you have wireless and wired functionality, which is pretty smart. These air cushions, they're actually leather, but it's memory foam. So you have memory foam in there. I'm still not a fan of the leather, to be honest. Um, I'm very curious to see how this is gonna last because I've seen headsets that just chip away, but given up the price point of these, it better last for a very long time. Um, since the air cuff swivel, you can rest it around your neck. Um, it feels a little bit on the heavy side, a little bit, um, comparing that to the Logitech G735, but nonetheless, you can't go wrong with Astros. You can actually customize the speaker tag, so the game and voice balance. I think at this point, the rest of these headsets could pretty much do that um, using the joystick here so you guys can see. Tell me who can catch a toucan, loo can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. This is the Astro A30s. Next up on the list, we have the Still Series Arctis Nova 7X Wireless. This is for the Xbox. People love Still Series, but we got to put it to the test. Um, right away, the unboxing experience is pretty pleasant. Something where you can build up and have as a souvenir. Absolutely love the cushion on these. This is what I'm talking about. So it's not leather, it's memory foam too inside. This is what I'm talking about right here. Okay, so I love that material. You have Type-C for charging, you have your game mix, your game balance, I should say. Your mute button is an actual toggle, so you press it down. You actually have a jack to use this wired. There's no detachable microphone, it's actually built in, and I think this is probably one of the better ways to implement um, a discrete microphone. But the way how they feel, they feel a little bit more looser compared to the previous headsets. And I think that's thanks to the fact of the headband on the top. Um, I'm not really a big fan of these headbands just because 
is not like sometimes it can be too loose to the point where I feel like it's falling back. And the mic, you just literally slide this out whenever you need it. Okay, chat with your friends when you don't need it. Slide it in and it's nice and flush. It's not in the way. And let's test out the microphone and the sound quality on these. I love the way how the top feel and just the build quality in general. I really do like it. It's lightweight. It's not cheap. It doesn't feel cheap. Tell me who can catch a toucan, Luke can, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick it to the toucan, glue can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have the final boss. We have the Steel Series Arctis Nova Pro Wireless. You do have a DAC, uh, and I would say the DAC is not going to be for everybody. It says the first edition. So I was one of the first to get this headset. All for the signs, man. We're doing all new headsets. You have a nice little travel bag. Uh, so when whenever you're not using a headset, you could be able to use that. And here they are. So I do like this little metal look. You know, it, it screams professional. Uh, the air cuffs are actually leather. Maybe leather is probably like maybe best for noise canceling. But I like the velvet. I like the nylon. Just for longevity, but maybe this is not going to be too bad either. Um, it is memory foam, which is going to be a big help. You do have this headband, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I, I much rather a traditional adjustment to the headband. But same thing like the Nova 6, your mute button is a toggle. You do have your headphone jack for wireless, or I'm sorry, wired play. And putting them on for the very first time, yes, this blocks out more noise compared to the Nova 7X. And of course, you could pull out the mic and you could be able to chat with your friends. Put it back for a more sleek look. The real star of the show has to be the included. Don't mind me, I call this the deck. I meant to say DAC or amp, I should have said. Dex, this is for the actual powerhouse user. Even for me, this is too much. Like, I don't find myself using DEX too much. But you do have your line in, your line out. So what the DEX is going to allow you to do, you can increase the treble or basically the EQ, provide powerful bass, uh, crystal clear audio. You actually have noise canceling on these headsets. Um, and actually, I'm going to test that out because I just took this out the box. Oh, oh. All right. So that's that's noise canceling. I could tell. And that's and that's transparency. So, yeah, you do have transparency mode and you have noise canceling. Very similar to the H, um, oh, I was, was I yelling? Very similar to the H9. And I think I should go back to the H9 and test out the noise canceling and the transparency. No wonder why this is the top of the line headset right now. You could be able to swap the battery. That's, hold up. You can remove this side part, right? Pfft, wow, this has some tricks up its sleeves right now. I can remove this and I have a battery. <laughs> so now with this battery, let's say this dies. I could quickly swap this out and then put the new battery in. That's genius. So now you're not forced to charge your headset, you know, messing up the game flow. So quickly swap out the battery. And, and with each battery is going to give you 22 hours. And pairing that up with two, you're getting 44 hours. That is incredible. And essentially it is unlimited because you could charge one battery while you're using one. And if that dies, you could charge that battery. So far, I'm very impressed with the Nova Pro X. I got to do my testing on this, the microphone test, and I got to see how this stack is going to operate. Tell me who can, catch a toucan, a lucan, just how a few can, ride the toucan, toucan, what kind of glue can, stick to the toucan, glue can. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my gaming headset roundup. Let me know down in the comments down below what's the best headset on this list or your favorite. If you guys enjoyed, I appreciate it with a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're new right here with notifications on. And other than that, your boy Pops, and I hope you guys have a simple day.
Peace.